Hi crafty friends, it's Audra Monk, the crafty yogi, and welcome to the crafty corner and a little uh, Friday at five uh, crafting. Yes, having a little fun on a Friday afternoon. Okay, hold on. What do I got to do? I've got to refresh the computer. So if you're here, say hello. Um, yeah, let's not worry about that. It's always fun when you refresh and it gives you some like alert. All right, let's see if it's working. Yay, there we are. Okay. So it's, what is today? Friday, Friday, February 5th. All right, you got uh, less, you got nine days till Valentine's Day. So um, I'm gonna be working on my Valentine's this weekend. I instead played with the butterfly stuff um, today. And you might be like, what butterfly stuff? I'm gonna tell you all about it. Oh, shmeppa daisies. Shmeppa daisies, hold on, I gotta grab something. Just look at my shelves and tell me what I need to fix. Uh, all right, I don't know where the flyer is, so I'm just going to show you this way. Well, isn't that a pickle? Oh, maybe I have it here. All right. See, I knew I wasn't ready. I knew I wasn't ready. I thought I was ready, and then I knew I wasn't ready. Okay, so let's talk about um, what you can buy now, because that's an important thing to know. Um, so right now, you can get those um, Hey Chick and Hey Birthday Chick bundles. They are so, so cute. And I don't have a flyer, but I can show you um, the cards I made. So um, you can look on my website, audramonk.stampinup.net. Um, I can show you, actually I can show you the actual stamps, I think. Yes, okay. So what it is, is there are two things. This Hey Birthday Chick is new in this January, June catalog. And there are coordinating dies. The dies will cut out the chickens, but then there's extra things they do. Um, like, mm, say I think this one goes in the hay chick. Um, like that. But there's extra pieces. There's a barn. There's all sorts of fun extra pieces. This hay chick was a celebration stamp set, and they've brought it back to make this, like, super cool, fun chicken extravaganza this is available for ordering you can see it on my website if you go there I'm pretty sure there's a banner at the top when you hit shop or you go to Stampin Up um, and you can see that and if you order either of the bundles I'm gonna send you the paper to make these four cards and it doesn't matter which bundle although if you don't get the bundle with the corn you won't be able to make corn but you could put the barn on here um, so I will send you the paper. It will not be die cut because the whole idea is you would buy the die cuts, right? But I'll send you a piece of ribbon. I'll send you the paper all cut to make these fun um, cards. So I'm just calling a mini card kit. Um, so order either of the bundles using the host code and I will send you the um, card stock for that. Okay, so I wanted to remind you about the chickens. I also wanted to remind you, hey Patty, hey Janet, hey Debbie, yay! We got some friends here. I um, also wanted to mind you, remind you that Celebration has less than a month to go. So if you want any of these super cool papers and stamps, with each $50 you spend, um, you get to pick something out of here. Okay, and if you need help with any of this, I've talked about it, I've done videos about it, but just message me and I will certainly help you out. All right, but today, today we're going to talk, where am I going to put this? We are going to talk about new product and I see that I'm not lined up hold on let's get us mm, that's probably good all right so I should have had a flyer about the hey chick just like this it's somewhere I just don't know where which is weird because everything is pretty clean <laughs> so it's always funny when you can't find it when things are clean um hey Angie but anyway I want to let you know about this beautiful bouquet release coming now if you want to join my team you could order this right now as part of your starter kit um and it's pretty darn cool. I played with it on and off all afternoon, and it's really cool. So it's kind of two things. It's an exclusive and early release. So the early release is the stamp set and dies. These will be in the annual catalog that starts on May 3rd or May 4th, something like that. I'm not sure of the dates because we're definitely changing. Okay, and then what's exclusive is from March 2nd till May 3rd, you can order, okay, you guys are gonna have to order this paper. Whether you order the other butterfly stuff or not, you want this DSP. It's absolutely beautiful, I'm gonna show it to you. And then there's this cool natural touch specialty paper. Um, or if when um, March 2nd comes around, you could order the whole thing with one number. 
So it's $71.25. So you could put that in your starter kit and still have more, you could buy cardstock to go with it. Um, if you ever want to know more about joining, let me know and I will definitely share. Okay, so that can go away. All right, so what it is, is it's a stamp set and it is a set of dies. And I took them all out and um, I've got to work, clean up my dies so I can get more magnetic cards. Dude, there are a lot of dies in this. And there's two things they do. But before I show you this, I want to show you the special paper. Okay. So this is, an, it's a thin, it is two-sided. Looks like I got a little adhesive on there. I'll have to clean that up. Um, but this side looks like natural, I think like birch. Um, and it feels kind of neat. I, I'm not 100% certain. I only used it on one card. I'm not 100% certain what I'm going to do with it. But it's very nice paper. Very nice. And it only comes two sheets in the pack. And how much does it cost? $5. Okay. So two sheets of 12 by 12 for $5. All right. And that's, you know, that's nice. I'm going to move that out of the way. But what you want to see, oh my goodness, friends, is this paper. This is six by six. You get a lot of each one. I'm sure that flyer will tell me. It was a lot. Um, eight of each and there's six designs. Okay. So this is kind of cool. And that is really cute. I should hold up a little higher. Little butterflies. Okay. These little butterflies are cute. So, I mean, you can just use this like regular DSP. Totally fine. And then look at that. There's these like kind of tie dye or um, sides. This one, I am going to make something very cute with this paper. Just a very simple card with DSP. Maybe in just cards for next month, I will um, use that. And then the back, I like this a lot too. I like a pattern paper. I think that is so pretty. Um, these butterflies, very cute. This is a neat little splatter. I like these. I don't know why it's all upside down. Here we go. These are like with a watercolor wash behind them. And what's on the back of that one? Oh, that's one of my favorites too. I really like this. It's Bermuda Bay and the other one is Calypso Coral. Those are some of my favorite colors. So I like that. And then here's just a nice all over butterfly pattern. And oops, I went too far. And it has the pink on the back. And then this one is the full size. This is the same size as the stamps. And that has a beautiful like rainbow Rainbow sky. Oh, you could just picture some unicorns like flying around there. That is so cute. But I want to show you something really cool. Okay. Oops, I've lost this actual stamp. Ah, here it is. So this stamp is one big stamp. Do not let that throw you off. You can stamp it big or not stamp it big. If you wanted, you could very easily cut that. And it would very, like a puzzle, it would come back together when you wanted to do it all together. I'm on the fence if I'm going to cut mine. I may do it. Um, but it stamps brilliantly, brilliantly. So I'm going to show you how it stamps. And I'm going to give you, okay, so, um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and show you a card. So here is a super easy card. All I did was stamp it on white paper, because you might be like, why is that paper? Or what is that color? Where'd that paper come from? This is on white paper. And then what I did was I colored this negative space with my pool party blend, the light colored one. It, this card took like five minutes to make. Um, and then I just added happy birthday and some pool party ribbon and my favorite matte back dots, which are on back order. That makes me very sad. When they come back up, I'll be ordering a bunch. Um, so it stamps really, really easy. So I'm going to show you how it stamps. And then I'll show you some more things. So, you know what, I'll do it on this side. Okay. So, you can stamp it in black. That's probably the easiest way to go. I would use Memento if you're going to color with Stampin' Blends. If you're going to watercolor, oops, I've got something in there, um, then you would want to stamp it in Stays On. And this would be great for watercoloring these butterflies. I'm not going to do it today. The other week, remember I got all distracted with watercoloring and stuff? I'm not going to do it today. I've thought of a hundred um, different things I could do with this. And then the bad thing is then I couldn't make them come into anything because I just, just kept having ideas. So then what I like to do is I take my paper and put it on top. And then take your grid paper and then you're just going to rub. You're going to rub. And then you're going to carefully take it off. Ta-da! Look at those. And if you have a Stamparatus, that would be a great easy way to do it too. But this is an easy way because picking this up for a lot of us... 
um, and pushing it down and getting it even um, pressure could be challenging because this is big. You need that big block or you need your stamparatus. But look at that, a whole field of butterflies. All right, let me put it so I don't get it inky somewhere. So very easy to stamp. And then the dies, it's one big die. It's kind of like that um, sand and sea die. So this must be the new in thing. I mean, it's not my absolute favorite. Like, would I like it just as well or better if they were individual stamps and individual dies? Maybe. I might like it a hair better. But if this is the cool new thing that they're doing, it is very handy um, to get a whole bunch at one time to run it through. Now, I will say you got to pay attention when you're putting it on to die cut it out. But then look at this. This is kind of cool. Say you don't want to stamp and color those. Look at this. Watch this. This is so cool. You could just die cut out from the DSP. And you could get your one, two, three, four, five, six butterflies. Look at that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So that is a really cool feature, um, I think. Okay, so there's that. The other dies in here are, um, we've had ones like this before. So you do gotta run these through um, a couple times and make sure it doesn't jump, but they're like filigree style butterflies. And they're actually the same size. So I've never, I have not, and I don't think I'll do it right now, I have not die cut out like a stamped and colored one because I, I don't think you need to do that work because you can do the paper. Let me show you. So I did do some of this in advance so we wouldn't have to sit here for a long time. So that is what these look like. They are so light and so pretty and they are die cut out of the DSP. So you could pick any of your favorite DSPs and actually look at the back. So even the ones that are printed, um, I think a lot of them work that you could use that as the top and it would be kind of a neat idea. And there is one that is a slightly different size. I think it's this little one. And then there are two little dies that make these little, I don't know, there was another one here, make little tiny ones. I don't know where it went. Um, so I'm, you know, you have those. So that is pretty cool that there's that set of dies. Let's see, move them all out of the way. And I'll show you a card I made with those. So this is using, let me show you which paper this is. using the this one so that paper got me those butterflies and then these lighter ones came from one of the like tie-dye pages so that is kind of neat all right my paper's getting all, all mixed up now um so that is a fun element and then there are there's this um brick wall kind of die which we are going to use and then there's these two which way does it come out um, like atmospheric dyes. Oh, those were the two little, where there's some ziggity lines and some dots. Now, I think that these would be cool. I ran them through, but if you were doing like some of the samples, you have to do that multiple times. I don't know that I'm going to do that multiple times, but I really like the one with the lines. I think that's neat. So I just had a piece of scrap. Obviously I cut a heart out of it. Um, and that's what those make. So if you're doing a little square and you wanted to add a little atmosphere, a little texture, um, that's what those dyes do, which I think is kind of cool the we're gonna do this I made a template out of our window sheet with the little bricky one because we're gonna try a little stenciling all right and then let me show you look I just had fun I think that is the prettiest thing ever ever and I did wink a Stella let's see can you see that it's shiny I don't think you can I wink a Stella it I colored it Look at them, aren't they pretty? I didn't do a traditional monarch one. I need to look that up because that's one of my favorites. I like that. So, so this is stamped in memento and colored. Let me zoom you in so you can see a little bit more. Look at that, aren't they pretty? They are so pretty. Hi, Christine. Um, I just think they're really pretty. Okay, and then I thought, well, um, and I am gonna give you, we are gonna color one because I wanna give you a tip of a cool idea. I don't know, I think I, I feel pretty, Pretty special that I thought of this idea, but there's those. Um, but then I stamped them in Sahara sand because maybe, and one of them, one of them was ugly, so I'm not gonna. I threw that one away. But maybe you want to color them a little softer, 
And I think those look really pretty. Um, look at this. This is just colored with um, So Saffron. And it has a little bit of glimmer on there. Um, I like this little one. And you could look on Pinterest and just put in butterflies and get colors. I was just kind of making these up. And look at this one. I got fancy. I did I did two shades of blends. I did um, Daffodil Delight and Pumpkin Pie. Um, so I thought that was really cute. And if you're wondering about this little white, I'm going to show you how I did that. That's That was... I felt pretty excited when I thought of this and it worked. So um, so I added a little white in there. And then we're going to just make um, one cute little easy card. Okay, so we're only going to color one. So I should probably make it a small one. Let's do this one. And I thought of a cool idea. Because I think I saw some like this. So we're actually going to give it black on the edge. So our Stampin' Blends are so easy to color with. We're gonna make this one black and blue. That sounds funny, but. Okay, and then what color blue? What color of blue? Let's use a different blue. I have, you should see over here to the side, I have like tons of markers. They all need to be put away. All right, so then we're gonna go, we're gonna give it some dark color. Ooh, this is gonna be pretty. And then you could do dark where they have the shading if you want. And I don't think it's wrong. I mean, you can make purple butterfly, you can make pink polka dotted butterfly. Have fun with it. I mean, it's called paper crafting. Um, you don't have to make it look realistic. Although that is my tendency. So I'm always happy when I come up with something different. And you can use the thin, a lot of these I actually use the brush tip on because it would cover uh, more. So let's try that on the bottom part here. So I'm just going to put the dark where they have the dark. And I think Balmy is less, um, it's less different than the other. Okay, and then we'll put some, some light. And then I'm gonna show you my little technique. You need our chalk marker. I think it costs $3.50. Um, and it's a fun little marker. I do like to use it a lot. And I'm so glad we still carry it. It's great when you're trying to get to a price point, like say you're trying to get to your 50 or your 100 for your celebration and you're a little under, just add a chalk marker. Okay, and then what I did is I took my chalk marker, which is now missing. Here it is. And I just drew little lines, super soft along some of the other colors. And then that gets you, I don't know, I feel like it's a really realistic, I don't think you can see it on the camera. No, it's hard to see. But just add a little bit of chalk marker. Let's do this other side. I like it with a little black. I think I saw a lot of butterflies on Pinterest um, that had black at the edges. So then I guess, you know what, I get to give this guy a little black body. I forget what they're... And I will say, now that I colored in, you won't be able to see. It's actually very realistic, the little body. If you look close, it has, like look at this one. It has little eyes, which kind of creeps me out a little because it really is a bug. But you know, when you see butterflies out in the land, they are so pretty sometimes. And I really like butterflies. Um, and I know we have a lot of butterfly sets, but let's see. I did not get the one in the new in the mini um, and then I saw this and I was like oh well I am glad because you know this one is really really nice and I'm just gonna blend this all together and I don't have to be really fancy or official because it's, it's nice and easy and the cool thing is this dye that cuts it all you could cut these out and then color them separately you don't have to color them all and then cut them out you could kind of do it either way 
but I wanted to show you my trick, and I should have probably done a darker blue. I wanted to show you my trick with the chalk marker because I think it's kind of cool. And look at that. And then you could add some Wink of Stella if you wanted. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's so pretty. He's such a pretty butterfly, or she. So pretty. Okay, so um, let's make one quick card together because now I mean I've showed you all about this I've showed you all of my butterflies I think I'm gonna use this yellow butterfly all right so I got out some paper but I was undecided we're gonna um let me fold it we are gonna go ahead and sponge with the little stencil I made to give a little background on this card all right so we're gonna sponge it in the same color so let me just get out some soft Oh, sorry, this is Sahara Sand. I said soft suede. I said the wrong color. Make sure that one's, yeah, that's pretty clean. All right, so I made a little stencil. And I'm just going to sponge this on here. I thought that this would be cool. I mean, this is what I'm guessing they made that little, see, look at that, that they made that little brick thing for. Because you certainly wouldn't want to, um, try to put those little bricks they're really small so I'm gonna do it down here because I have an idea we're gonna do just like a focal point butterfly card with a nice little square and this definitely doesn't have to be perfect um, I call adding things like this you're adding atmosphere you're adding texture I've been watching a lot of food um, uh, food cooking shows and they're always talking about how you have to have different textures and different flavors and that's what doing a little bit of stenciling like this does there we go I think that's good okay and so then what I'm thinking now here's the big decision is do I cut let's go with the yellow butterfly I think we're gonna do the blue I love this paper. Oh my goodness. I'll definitely be using it avidly. And then it's going to go away. Oh, that side's really pretty. But for what I want, we want the solid. Okay, so we're going to cut that. I think we're going to go three by three. Actually, you know what? We'll do the other piece three by three. So we're going to do it right under. We're going to do it two and seven eighths. By two and seven eighths. Because I was thinking a square right behind that butterfly would look really pretty. But I feel like we're going to need another layer because I like a little layer. So I think, and then we're just going to put that little butterfly on there. Look at that. How cute is that going to be? Um, you know, we're going to do white. Let's try white. Is that white? That is not white. Ooh, although doing those butterflies on some very vanilla in this like soft suede or Sahara sand color could be really cool. could look really that, like that classic nature book kind of look that could be very fun all right here we go three by three so you know you can get as classic I mean I could see this done in so many colors and then you know it's fun to have like black with pops of bright colors you could do all sorts of fun things so we're gonna see I think yeah, yeah, I probably could have done, we probably, ha I could have done the square dies. That would work too. Oh, yeah. So see, we've got that atmosphere on there. And then we're going to add that on there. And then we're just going to add some words. I'm going to be brave. All right, so let's just put this together. Um, I think, like, when you're looking for coordinating products, I think our, um, that bumblebee gingham ribbon would be something I'm kind of drawn to. Our, um... Linen thread would go nice with butterflies. Lots of things go nice with butterflies. Can I see that? Okay. All right, which side? I swear, I wish I could just get it on perfectly straight. But I don't. So which side is going to bother me less? That's going to bother me less. Isn't that weird? You have to figure out which uh, side is not going to bother you too much. All right, and then I'm going to try to get on straight. You could do another layer. Um, you know what? I am going to do another layer. 
we're gonna do that part again. I know, you're like, Audra, it's fine. But I'm like, you know, I would like another layer of Sahara sand in there. So let's cut a little piece at four by five and a quarter. So even though it's the same color, it just makes it pop a little bit more. You'll see, you're gonna, ooh, except for that sticky, you'll appreciate it. We're gonna add a little bit of that um, sponging on here. Okay, so let's put this over here so I don't get it sticky. Yeah, let's add some more. So we're gonna add one extra layer. Here's our little guy. Here's our little thing. Just do it real quick. All right, that's good. Only took an extra second. All right, now let's stick this on. Um, I colored this Butterfly Dawn. This one I stamped it in um, Sahara Sand, and then I colored it with So Saffron, the light and the dark, and then I added the little chalk marker. Probably bad I'm putting this on because what if I stamp it bad? <laughs> and then you know you gotta curl his, his little wings or her little wings. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay, so let's put that on with a couple dimensionals. I'm just gonna put them right here in the center. And that one's gonna go on there, right at the center. Ding, ding. Okay, and then I've got this really nice thinking of you, yes. And then we are gonna stamp that. Ooh, maybe we stamp it in Bermuda Bay. Is that bad? Is that good? Ooh, I'm gonna try it. My, and if worst case, we don't like it, We'll send it to someone that won't mind. Ta-da! I like it okay. All right, and then we'll put this on, and now we've got a card. That's an easy peasy card. So I can see this DSP showing up in lots of projects for me. So you're gonna wanna plan to Order it when it's available in March. If you're a demonstrator, of course, you can order it already, which is super fun. See, having that extra layer just mm, makes it nicer. Look at that. That is a cute card. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let me show you all the cards. So here's the ones I made before. Ta-da! Let me zoom you out, because then I want to show you all the butterflies. And then here are all the fun butterflies I colored. So some were stamped in Memento, some were stamped in the Sahara Sand. You can color them all kinds of colors. You can color them two colors. You can color them one color. You could not color them like that one. So it's a really fun um, and pretty a bundle or sweet or whatever we want to call this so there you go my friends there is the butterfly bouquet I think this was called I'm gonna double check yep butterfly bouquet so starting for customers March 2 you can order the exclusive paper the DSP and the birch what are they calling that uh, natural birch color Really, it doesn't have a oh natural touch specialty paper. I was gonna say it doesn't have a fancy name. It has to, um, and the paper is called Butterfly Bijou uh, six by six paper. Um, you will also be able to order the bundle or just the stamps or just the dies as you desire, um, and those will be in the new annual catalog. I'm actually getting excited about the new annual catalog because as demonstrators, we get to see it in April because we get to order a month before so that we can make 
projects and share with you. So it's always fun. Um, crafting is a thing that you use old stuff, you use new stuff, you put it all together. Um, it is a great uh, deal of fun. If you do have questions, comments, or requests, you want to know anything about the projects I made, the products that are available or going to soon be available, um, or the joining opportunity, let me know. I am always happy to share. I hope that you have a wonderful Friday and a great weekend, and I will see you um, Monday night, 8.30, we'll craft something. I know I'll be sharing stuff over the weekend too. So thank you so much, and stay crafty.